demonstrating how to take apart a chicken. So this is what you get. This is what you get when you get in a store. They've already removed the feet. They've already moved everything. You know, oil glands have been removed. You know, the head and the, and the gizzard and whatnot and everything. All the viscerals. What you're left with is the chicken. First, we start with the drums. And right before you go there, you're going to look for there's a little opening in here, and you, and you make a cut. And when you make this cut, you don't want to chop down or anything. You want to make sure you're, you're going after it and not, mess, not necessarily cutting into anything else. So just taking cuts one at a time, you break through that one layer, one layer of skin, and you'll find that you have. I can probably do it outside of this on the cutting board. We're going to move down. We're actually going to find there's a joint in there, and that's where we're going to first. If you ever wonder where to cut, oftentimes you'll find that the cartilage is going to show you where the where it is. You know where the cartilage is. The cartilage will be like this white marks here and there. It's a good clue. It's it's not necessarily a, a, a tech, proven technique, but it's going to get you through carving of a chicken. So what I did was right on this leg, I cut down to the to the joint, I moved it open, and we were able to cut through it. What we're doing now is cutting down through, and we now have a drum and a thigh. So I'll just put that on the side, demonstrate on the other side where you're doing the same exact motion. Next we'll go to the wings, which we're actually going to, to flip this over. We're going to be able to find, again, the skin that goes in between. We'll go through that. If you were to look in here, you'll see that we, again, have more cartilage that seems to go just go around that. There's also a bone at this wing, too. So follow that cartilage. Follow that wing. We're going to go towards the, the joint that's lying right inside there. Now the, these joints, they're also connected by the ligaments, which are just the connective tissue going from one bone to the next. Cutting through those in those, those small slices would be very, it will give you that clean cut. Why don't I just remove this skin real quick so you can see a little bit more. Now I'm just, I'm just moving through and just remove the skin. Again, the cartilage is right there. Feel free to use it as a guide. We'll make a, a mark down on top of that keel. And then slowly we're going to work our way, way down. And when you start to work your way down, you're taking small cuts as you go. You'll start to bend back, back the breast. And we're, we're just kind of following where the bone is. On the, on the top here, where the head meets, like this, this gizzard meets the breast, you're going to find that there's a bone there. That's where the wishbone is. The wishbone can also be taken out before you do the cutting, because it is in, in the way of the plane of, of the meat. But in this particular situation, we're just going to leave it on there, we're going to cut around it. So you, you keep cutting until so you get down to the end. And this is where you have your breast. <laughs> oh, the ham first. Lay the ham first, cheese on top. Swiss cheese is the cheese normally used. We're going to start with twine. You can also use skewers to put it together. I'm going to use twine today. Yeah. This is flour and paprika. Oh, there you go. It just gives a little more flavor. 
And then we'll give it a bit of a coating. Put that right in there. Roll, 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 Thing of luck is three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Take a little bit of Slip. I'll be staying with it. Yeah, a little bit of corn. Take him initially. Ah. This carcass has been in there for about 20 minutes. So you roast the carcass? Roasting the carcass oh, with a little bit that. of oil and a little bit of salt. You'll find that it's browned a bit and the oils are, are starting to come out. Oh, veggies and veggies and whatnot. Now it's a simple, a simple stock. You have the carcass which has the oils and then you have a couple different vegetables in there. The oven was actually roasting around 400 for roasting the carcasses. Tortillas are coming along. They're coming. They look great. Take more of them. Yeah. That's pretty much all this, this paprika is doing. Just give it a little bit of color. Here is we're going to add some cheese to this. It's really wonderful. Absolutely. Don't watch me do that. I don't want your email address. I already have it. No, I mean, yeah. you want to 